Hi Leaps and Turns, this is your conditioning and technique video. Um, we're going to start with a little uh, Tendu Degage Batma combo, but of course since we're, well not of course, but we're, we're going to do it parallel, more of a jazz style. Okay, so make sure you're, that your knees and your toes are always pointing forward, okay? So let me talk you through the progression and then we'll do it together in music. Um, Hmm. No, let's keep it like this. We'll just put our hands on our hips. Remember, we're pulling our elbows forward, but our shoulders back. And we're going to do, um, let's see, we'll do four tondus on the left, and two, and three, and four. Then we'll do um, four degages degage on the left. One, and two, making sure you're working through the foot, and four. And then we'll do eight bot maws. One, and two, yeah, all the way to eight. Make sure you're really squeezing your glute so that you're not like, I don't know, doing that or bending your knee or anything like that or leaning forward. You wanna stay nice and tall. Okay, so we have four tanus, four degages, eight batmas, other side. Four tandus, four degages, eight batmas. Now we're gonna go all a second on the left. You have to keep your knees forward, okay? So we're really used to doing tandus all a second like this, like turn out, but we're gonna do it um, parallel to that. So even when we do our batma, it's not gonna go up very high because we're parallel. Make it go as high as you can, but it's not going to be your normal, you know, a la second. Okay, so we'll do the same combo on the left, same on the right, and then we'll do it to the back. I'll probably have to scoot forward because I'm going to hit the wall. Making sure you're still really parallel. I should not see your, you should not see your heel in a mirror if you're in front of a mirror. Okay, four, four, and then eight, and then on the other side. Okay, let's do it. Just move those left feet. Two. Go ahead, get crazy. 
should be a little tired now from really squeezing and lifting out of your hip you shouldn't be like kind of sinking down right you should be lifting up so you stay really tall okay the next thing we're gonna do is some elevates but since we're at home we can do it like kind of we can use some props to help us make it more interesting okay so I want you to go get like a really sturdy book that no one minds you standing on, um, or maybe two books. It should be maybe like four inches off the floor. So if you have a yoga block that you feel like is stable, or I don't know, anything that you can stand on, and then you also have access to hold a counter or a wall, or I'm gonna hold that bookcase right there, go get that. Pause the video and then come back. Okay. Hey y'all, here we go, let's do it. I'm gonna use these oh, CPA books that my husband was gonna use to study, and he didn't, haha. Uh -huh. Okay, these are a little slippery, that's okay. So we're gonna do our elevates, but what I want you to do is let your heels drop below, like on the floor your heels can only go so low. But on a little extra higher level, you can even do this on a step, by the way. You go down and then up, all the way down and up. So we're getting a bigger range of motion for that muscle and it's gonna strengthen the muscle even more, okay? Let's do, um, let's do 30, we'll do 32. Um, elevates just all kind of nice and slow and controlled. Okay, let's get a different song. Allegro. We don't have a ton of space to jump, so I wanted to make sure that we get some jump jumps in today. Um, and what I want you to focus on is really stretching your legs 
and your ankles and your toes every time you leave the floor. Literally every time. So whether we're in second position and you point, or today we're gonna go in fourth position. Yeah, so we're like here and you point, really squeezing everything. So like this position in second, this is a lot like what you're gonna be doing in your side leaps, right? You gotta get both of those legs stretched and rotate it out, okay? I'm gonna stretch out my calves for a second. So here's our combo for our petite allegro. We're gonna do eight sautés in second, eight sautés in fourth, eight sautés in second, eight sautés in fourth. Okay. Really working through the feet. I may cut out early because uh, pregnancy really takes it out of you sometimes. So I'm pretty tired. But you should do it full out. You push through. Uh, let's find a good jumping. Mm, nope, too slow. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Good job. See you in the next one.